Now, here we're looking at is another real life situation using vectors. This is using velocity. Remember, the difference between velocity and speed is that velocity has a magnitude and direction, where speed is just a magnitude. Now, this is a real life situation for pilots. So, we have a light aircraft flies at 250 kilometers per hour aiming due south. Find the actual speed if it encounters a 50 km hour wind from the southeast. Now, let's just define where our north is. So, that's south, east, west. So, what we're going to do is look at our vectors. So, we've got the plane which is flying south. So, that's due south. So, it's straight down in the south direction. That's magnitude of 250. Now we have a wind that's going in the south, coming from the southeast. All right, that means it's coming from the southeast, so it's coming up like that. So that means it's actually traveling in a northwesterly direction. So our vector here would be northwest, like that, and that would be 50. All right, so what we'll do is I'll just draw it properly down here. So we've got plane, supposed to be going 250 kilometers that way, an hour, so that's our magnitude, direction south. We have our wind coming in a southeasterly direction, so it's plus, that's 50 here. So we are trying to find this resulting vector there. That's x, our unknown. Now, if we add our groups in like we've done in the past, and we have this here, and we have it here, you actually see that this angle will be 45 degrees. You should be able to see that because it's going in a northwesterly direction. Yes, it's coming from the southeast, that means it's coming from that way, but it's going in to towards the northwest, and that's why we get that vector of 50. So we look at what we have. Let's just, and we'll label our triangle too. So we'll have A where we started, B, and C. So this looks like something we've done before. We don't have a right angle triangle, so we're going to be looking at using the sine and cosine rule. So let's go through the information we have. We have A, B, C, the angles, and then we've got the sides, little a, little b, and little c. Now, angle A, we don't know, that's our theta. That's our theta. We don't know that. We're going to try to find that. We want to know what our bearing is. B, we know, is 45 degrees. C, we don't know. Little a is 50. Little b we're trying to find, that's x. And c is 250. Looking at the information we have, we would have to find little b first, the side, the vector of ac there. So that's giving, we're going to have to find the speed, in other words. So we're going to use the cosine rule. So cosine rule, we've got b squared equals a squared plus c squared minus 2 times a times c times the cos of theta. Now, put our information in. We've got b squared equals 50 squared plus, well, it's going to be 250, not 25, plus 250, 250 squared minus 2 times 50 times 250 times the cos of 45 equals
47,322.3. We obviously need to square root that because that's b squared. So b equals 217.5. So that is how fast that plane is traveling, okay? Now, knowing B, we can find the angle at A using the sine rule, okay? Because we have B now. So, we want angle A. So that is sine... A over A equals sine B over B. Put our information in. We don't know what A is. Sine A over 50 equals sine 45 over 250. Sine A equals 50 times sine 45 over 250. And that equals, I'll just come up the page here, that equals 0. 0.1625 so theta or a is going to equal sine inverse of the 0 0.1625 so theta will equal 9.4 degrees now there are two ways you can write this answer. You could say that the aircraft is flying 217.5 kilometers per hour, 9.4 degrees west, west of south. Or, instead of the 9.4 degrees, you could say 100 at a bearing of 189.4 degrees. Now, the 189 degree point 0.4 comes from 180 plus the 9.4 because it is going due south. Due south is 180 degrees of north. So, either one of those answers would be correct. You just got to make sure... It's what it says in the question, okay? Either one of them would be acceptable.